This is significant because here in India, the Serum Institute of India is developing this particular vaccine. It's called Covishield in India in partnership with Oxford University. What Serum Institute can do is that it can use this data then to approach authorities in India to apply for emergency use authorization. No, I think as soon as we can, we should go in for emergency use authorization as long as we have enough data as far as safety is concerned. Okay. The efficacy, as has been mentioned, may vary and it will actually also depend, especially when you start looking at it in the real life situation in terms of how effective it is hmm. uh, when it's rolled out uh, to the general public, uh, population in terms of its effectiveness. But the challenge is that it has to be a safe vaccine. If the vaccine is shown to be safe, and that is that the safety signals are very good, which seems to be the case with the vaccine which are coming out, I think we should look at emergency use authorization, both to uh, bring down the pandemic, decrease the number of cases as far as the pandemic is concerned, and also to save lives. AstraZeneca has to submit its data to authorities in the UK. In all likelihood, they will also be going in for emergency use authorization. Once authorities in the UK accept this data and consider the vaccine not just safe but also showing efficacy of over 70%, Serum Institute can use this data to approach authorities in India to then apply for emergency use authorization in spite of the fact that our own phase 3 trials here in India of the same vaccine are not even complete. This is just going to expedite this process for us and there is a possibility that if the emergency use authorization permission is given, we will have the first doses of the vaccine in India as early as January.